Hey guys, welcome back to my desk. I hope everyone is having a great Friday today. I wanted to just make a really quick video showing off one of my most recent projects that I just created. It is this adorable little well. I love how this turned out. I know for most things I do say I love how it turned out, even though they're always wonky. I still love them, but I, I really enjoyed making this project. It was a really fast make. It didn't take me very long to finish this. I want to say I did it in over two days. So I started it, I think in the afternoon and then finished it up the next morning. For the thread, I used cotton thread and this was the very first time that I did a project using cotton thread. So this is the blue I used. Um, let me see what the brand is. So this is the brand. I, I don't keep yarn, the labels. I, I don't know. I try to keep them, but they just disappear. So I don't know exactly the colorway of this but this is the one I used. So it took me just over one of these. So I used the first one and I got done with both of the fins and I was attaching the fins and I was about two rows from finishing up the back fins or the, I guess the tail, finishing up the back tail. I had about two rows to do on that. And then I also had to do the fins on the side. So just slightly, slightly over one ball of this. And then for the bottom, I just used white. And this is, I think it's sugar, is it called sugar lily and cream? I think that's the brand for this one. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, and I just used white just for the bottom. And again, there's not very much of the white, so it didn't take hardly anything of this, just a few yards probably. Both of these are cotton. And like I was saying, this is like the first time that I've actually used cotton thread. And I love how it turned out. Like it's, it's a lot more dense feeling to me. And I love that I don't have the stuffing sticking out because a lot of my other projects where I was using the acrylic, I liked how they had that little bit of shine to the yarn. And I love that. But even when I use like a smaller hook size, I tried doing the invisible decrease. I always had little spaces and I could see the stuffing poking out, but this way with the cotton yarn, I don't have that. So I love that. I am going to start collecting a little bit more cotton yarn. I don't have very much. I bought two of these in blue. I bought two pink ones. I bought white. And then I did a few days ago, pick up a couple more. I think I picked up yellow, uh, hot pink. And I have, I do have green already, but I'm going to start collecting cotton. I never bought cotton before. I think just cause I would look at the skeins of cotton and they looked so small. And then I would look over and see like big twist and those were like about almost the same price. And I just felt like I was getting so much more yarn when I went with the acrylic. But I think for Amigurumi, I'm really going to start picking up some more of these small cottons in a lot of different colors because I love the results of them. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is my cat. I, <laughs> I turned around and it sounded like it was like, Ooh, he almost fell. Sound like it was an alarm or something. So I was like, what is making that sound? And I turn around and it's this little guy. Yes, Jojo. I'm okay. That's, um, that's, that's not going to work, Jojo. I mean, oh, okay. Um, All right, I'm going to stop my recording right now and see if I can tire Jojo out. I'm going to get the laser pointer and have him run a few laps. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back. I hopefully got my little Jojo tired out. So hopefully he's going to take a little nap and won't get back up here when he hears me speaking again. I have no clue what I was talking about, but I'm pretty sure I showed off my little well and showed you guys how, or told you guys how much I really like working with cotton yarn. The reason I wanted to come back on, I wanted to just show you this pattern because this pattern, it's a beautifully written pattern. Like it is such a nice pattern and I'm not going to show the pattern. It is a free pattern. I'll put a link to it on, it's on Ravelry. I cannot say that word, but it is on that website. It's free. But the pattern is just, it's beautifully written. 
So this is the cover of the pattern and already like look how pretty this is. Like it's just so nicely designed. I love how she put how she arranged or I, should, I don't know if it's a she or he. I'm not sure but I love how the pattern writer just wrote this pattern. It's beautiful. So it's just a very pretty pattern. So I love how it's organized. I think the photography is beautiful. I love, love, love how there are so many different angles of how the product project is going to look. Because sometimes I'm like really confused about like, you know, attaching things like the fins, attaching the tail. And sometimes I get a little confused about that. But there's so many different like pictures and different angles that it's really, really easy to tell, you know, where or how to attach everything so i love that and just look how nice it is like everything is just laid out so nicely so much information it's just it's just a pretty pattern and also love there's just a lot of like little notes to help you through just you know so you don't run into any problems love that and then this is how the actual pattern is written i love that for each section it's really really like it's you know there's headings so it's really easy to tell what part I'm working on and the pink is just that's me that's as I was you know finishing each row I was just crossing it off but I just wanted to just show you guys this is such a nice pattern it's just visually looks really nice it's really easy to follow and it's just really really well written so love it I'm gonna see what other patterns are by this company it's called love and stitch crochet company and I know they have quite a few patterns, so I'm going to check out some more because this this is a nice, nice written pattern. So I'm really excited to see what other projects are there. And one more thing I'll show you guys before I take off. I made a cappuccino. It's like a chocolate powder on top. And this is a mug that I made. Well, I made the design on the mug. And it just says yarn it. And it has a cat because you guys know I love cats. And then I put my name under it and then some polka dots and... It's kind of cute. I think it, I don't like the way everything is kind of lined up. And I think this, if the yarn it had been like curved around the cat and a little bit larger, I think I would have loved it better. But this was just a little cup. I was just test, I was testing out my printer, making sure it was printing okay. Cause it's been, I haven't been doing a lot of sublimation lately. So I wanted to just make sure nothing got clogged. So I made a little mug for myself with my name on it. And yeah, I might, redesign this a little bit better and then add it to my shop in case any of anyone else who loves cats and yarns might want one but yeah so that is going to be it for this video i do have some plans to upload or at least film some other projects that i'm going to hopefully start working on today because i have a lot of creative juices running today and i'm like a lot of things that i want to try making so i'm gonna keep you guys posted and hopefully i will see you later today. So have a great, great day. And thank you guys always for supporting me, supporting my channel, liking my videos and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys soon. I don't need you to hit the camera. All right, boy, I'm gonna give you a scratch on the back. <laughs> All right, come on, Jojo. Let me finish. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for telling everyone hi. Jojo, tell everyone to subscribe and like this video. <laughs> All right, Jojo. Uh, come on. Okay, you can. Now he's trying to decide. Does he want me to hold him? Okay, well. I guess this is how we're going to do the rest of this video. I'm going to have Jojo in my lap. Hopefully he's purring. He's purring really loud. So hopefully that doesn't go on the whole video. Okay, so let's put that away. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jojo, I'm trying to make a video here. Am I going to leave this in the video? We're going to have to look at Jojo. He is cute to look at, I have to admit. Okay, come on, Jojo. If you stay in my lap, you can stay here. But you got to sit here. You can't keep walking around, okay? All right. So I have Jojo sitting on my lap. All right, so 
I have no clue what I was saying. I think I was saying I really want to start collecting some more cotton yarn, which I do. <laughs> but yeah, so this, oh, come on, stop. Okay, it's Jojo. I'm going to put you down. You're going to have to go down because you're not listening. Okay, Jojo. All right, go play. Go play. All right. <laughs> yeah, so I need to start collecting. I want to start collecting some more cotton yarn. Just, I just put Jojo down. I just put him down two seconds ago. 